Hello everybody, welcome back to XUW Season 6. Season 6. Let me tell you, I don't know how we got here. I mean, last season, you know, I was involved in last season. It was a huge one. It was an epic one of epic proportions. It was everything anybody could ever want from XUW. But I made sure that we were coming back. And I made sure we were coming back strong. So now we are back. Now we are back and I'm very grateful. And today, today we got a show for you. Okay? First ever promo in Action Stars is coming up real soon, but we're gonna hear from Jesus about this first. Well first off, it's the first promo ever in XUW, you untalented hack. I mean how did you even get to be in this place? You can't even put a sentence together. My god. Anyway, they're nervous some people, but hello my beautiful fans. Moi, moi. It's me, Jesus, and I'm doing so great. You got to buy the hat. To get the hat, you gotta get a lot of my other merch. Or you can get some of Zan's merch. It's not as cool, but you know, I got merch. So this idiot all over worthless over here. I mean he really is worthless. You know, I mean you really. You have this horrible basketball career. Then you buy a wrestling company, and you can't even remember its name. It's Axie W, alright? I mean, really. Get it straight. But I mean, who can get it more straight than Jesus? Jesus knows what Jesus is doing. Jesus has a bit of a problem in some areas, but Jesus knows what Jesus is doing. But this is going to be some great action, and I'm ready. I am ready. Let's go. That's good kooky. And for the record, Jesus, I can't believe you even said such a thing. I mean, my God. But anyway, I, I, I digress. I digress. Let's get to Pajama Headed Man. XUW. Make some noise. How about you? The best competitor to ever walk through the doors here. Make some noise for you. I mean, you have that joke. Jesus on commentary, really? Really? I think you can do a lot better. Loads better. I think you can do pajama headed man better. You can really do anything better, can't you? You have that joke over there, sitting next to another joke, making this company look like a joke. You have a joke of a world champion who should have stayed on commentary instead of getting in my business. But he took that championship from me, didn't he? Sam man's a loser. And I will take that championship back. He deserves nothing. Nothing at all. But yet he's being gifted everything on a silver platter. I mean, come on. I can make trains derail. Just to get what's mine. What you have to understand here is nobody's safe from John Hood Man. Nobody can stop me. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Hank Hankerson, and I am the advocate for your future XUW champion, the beast himself, Brock Lesnar. Well, and as you see, Lesnar is a very, very unhappy man. And Lesnar, sure, you know, he just dropped pajama hit a man with a German suplex and two F5s, but he's, he's a really nice guy when he gets what he wants. And quite simply, what he wants, what he wants is to be XCW champion, and what he wants is this pathetic roster of losers to fall to his knees, to pray to Brock Lesnar, to make Brock Lesnar their god because truly nobody else in this company even has the superstar status of Brock Lesnar. You see, when Action Stars Wrestling dissolved, Brock Lesnar needed something to do. Brock Lesnar needed something to do. And what better, what better than beat down a roster of five foot five rejects? Trust me when I say this, Brock Lesnar is going to beat that loser, Zaman, any day of the week. Any day of the week. I mean, how, how are you going to lose to some short, stupid, 
goofball will exam man or are you gonna lose to a guy with pajamas on his head who tries to be a badass but he really isn't he really isn't so I'm gonna put it this way next week Brock Lesnar is gonna step in the room in XCW for the first time ever and people are going to get hurt man a vicious assault he's a vicious assault and pajama head man by Brock Lesnar I mean, I can't believe that we're getting Brock Lesnar in XCW. That's something I did not even consider to even happen. Not at all. But that's what's happening right now. Brock Lesnar in XCW, and next week he will be in action. So I cannot, I mean, I cannot wait for that. You know, we're going to see something interesting. We're going to see something we didn't think we were ever going to see. Just like the snow outside. I didn't think I was ever going to see that, but you better believe that I did. But man, let's get to our first matchup between Moosewell, Jacob Friedman, and I guess you somehow. I'm Moosewell, Jacob Friedman. And as a moose, I've seen many, many things. But, I mean, the G, G sus, whatever you may be, just remember, I am mooseier than you, and you know it. Oh my god, shiver me timbers, shiver me timbers. I can't believe it. It's not Jesus, it's the gene. The gene is here. Oh my god. I mean, you, you thought Jesus was hideous enough, now you got the gene. Oh boy. Ding ding, there's the bell and they're locking up. They're locking up and this can't be any good for Moosewell. Moosewell might be literal moose, but Moosewell is already 0-1 in XCW. And that Moosewell goes down in the map to the Gene. And the Gene's raising up the hand for the Gene Double Claw. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. I did not expect a Gene Double Claw to be a thing that I'd even be saying today. But it is. Oh man, and that Gene Double Claw is locked in. And that Gene Double Claw is locked in. Oh, it's dirty. Oh, it's fierce. I can't look. But I must. But I can't. But I have to. Oh god, and that Gene Double Claw locked onto that Moose. And that Moose is going down. That might be literal moose, but that's the weakest moose I've ever seen. And then Gene Bullclaw locked in on Moosewell. And Moosewell, oh God. Oh, wait, and Moosewell tries to fight back with a punch to the face. And that Moosewell bouncing off the ropes with that moosey clothesline. Oh, man. That moosey clothesline had some tang on it, that's for sure. That is for sure. Oh, God. Not the tang. Not the tang. That clothesline did not have tang on it. Gene, right. Gene Rise. Gene Rise. Yes, the Gene has risen. I have summoned the Gene to rise, and now the Gene has risen. Oh man, then the Gene. Oh, oh. Oh man, with the butter, Abigail. Here we go. One, two, a three. Crunch. There is the win. There is the win for the Gene. Just like how Tutsy Pomp with Tootsie, the Gene has won. Well, thank you everyone for watching this episode back of XUW. It means a lot. As the stars might be gone, but we are here to stay. And well, next week I'm going to pull up a match for you for next week. We've got a huge match. Brock Lesnar in action, episode 2, versus King of Stuff Jr. And this is a number one contenders match. For the day 24 pay-per-view. And you know, something that is very, very big. Very, very big. Is the debuting championship. At day 24. And that match is going to be huge. Day 24 is going to be a day to remember. That is what I can tell you. Thank you for watching. And we will see you then.